Alright, we can move on to the uh, next course here. Plug my controller in so that it doesn't die. It looks like we're out of the forest. We are to the Bay Ferry. Looks like a pirate boat. Kind of cool. Yeah. According to the rumors, there's an old mansion atop a hill atop the shore. And there's probably a power stone there. Go figure. Can't get there without a seagoing yeah. boat. Sounds good. Koopa's here. Go the best of three sets. Alright, so it looks like we gotta beat him and he'll probably take us on his boat to uh, where we need to be. I did see some uh, gameplay of this at E3. I remember that big mass right in the middle of the, the court. Looks like it had some interesting uh, repercussions. So I don't know if you can really avoid it other than just trying to aim to the sides. Uh, it's kind of there, there to just screw with you, I think. Find out. Oh, actually, no, I take it back. You can totally avoid it. Looks like Koopa doesn't have too much game either. Should be quick. Pretty easy. The one time I did hit the mask there, it actually worked in my favor, so maybe it doesn't uh, hurt you a whole lot. First game just about in the books here. It's almost quicker not to even use your, your special shot, I feel like. Because by the time it runs through the whole animation and all that stuff, you could have already scored a point or two. At least on these easier characters, I hope it's going to get a little bit more difficult here as we go. One thing I, I, you know, I've been playing this game a little bit, I still don't understand what this thing does at the beginning when you do your little taunt and he goes on fire. I don't know if it actually does anything or if it's literally just a taunt. Just to kind of screw with your opponent. Oh, he's got some game here on this last point. Oh, one more point to go. I thought that was a game point right there. Alright, we'll just blast him. Even though that looked like it was totally just going to hit the pole and get himself. And he's too early. Alright. Not too bad. Take us on your boat, Koopa. Oh. Second set. Ah, oh, we gotta play three sets of games, I see. Out! Koopa scored on me. Are you kidding me? Alright, so the mast is not too big of an obstacle. Oof, that looked like it might have been out as well. But we'll take it. I don't know if it's supposed to remind you of it, but it kind of reminds me of like Bowser's airship in Mario Odyssey. Um, good luck, friend. Uh, just the way there was some stuff like flying over the top, kind of cool. Looks like there's some bomb bombs there, not doing anything either. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of Bowser's airship. Although I guess Bowser's airship is in the air, and this uh, was clearly in the water, so probably not. But who knows? They might have been reusing some of those models. Alright, win one more time. That should be the end of Koopa here. Change card. Pretty easy. It's kind of interesting. So Koopa's been in the campaign mode here all along, even though they just released him uh, this month in the online tournament. So they... They must be doing something similar to what they did. They've been doing with Mario Odyssey. I know uh, I haven't went back and played it since I beat the game originally, but I've seen uh, on Reddit and, and on social media and stuff. It seems like they've been 
uh, releasing uh, you know additional costumes in Mario Odyssey that were already they're already in the game, but they're just released on like a timed schedule. Uh, costumes and some like little those picture challenges, I think, uh, where you just get some coins and, and kind of useless stuff, uh, but just to kind of keep people interested. Oh, Koopa's got some game there, and he's gonna regret that. Well, I guess I didn't make him regret it, but still squirt on him. But um, yeah, so I'm assuming these next couple characters are all in the game. They're just trying to keep it a little bit new and try to encourage people to play. Uh, Play the online tournaments to to unlock them. If Koopa's already in here, Let's see if he can get this one. Nope, didn't even make a basic attempt. All right, so now Koopa can take us to wherever we are going across the water here. Level eight. I wonder what max level is, or how long the campaign is. It's probably, I don't know, maybe level fifteen or thirty will be max, something like that. Hopefully not 15, we're going up pretty quick. Hopefully 30 or maybe even 50, I don't know. I would like to see it get a little bit more difficult. The most difficult thing so far was the, the mini game with the piranha plant shooting all the fireballs, but it wasn't super hard. It was, like I said earlier, it was just kind of more annoying, to be honest. Um, just kind of luck and, and time based, I think. Uh, but we will proceed here and see what happens. Sweet, kind of, I like that. I like that animation. Just hop on the boat, and we are at uh, the island. It looks like so. We'll head up here. Which way is the dead end? Is it over here? So that looks like the mansion. I want to go do whatever was the other way first. I think. Get these. Well, and then there's tracks. So actually, let's do the mansion, and then we will head up there, because that kind of seems like maybe the next area in the game. All right, Mirage Mansion. Let's uh, jump in here. I see some booze around, so that's kind of cool. There it is, a creepy mansion. So much creepy on this island. Some mirrors. I did see some gameplay of this at E3 as well. It's really the only gameplay I've watched of this game. Um... And the mirrors seem like a neat mechanic too. You, uh, at least in the game I watch, you can basically, at, at certain times, your ball will go through the mirror and then they move and then they shoot out the other side based on where the, the mirror moved, which could kind of mess with your opponent a little bit. So we will see, um, we'll see how that impacts the game. First opponent is Boo, I think. Defeat Boo while avoiding the mysterious mirrors. We have to avoid them. I don't know if that means they're going to come at us, or that means we just have to, uh... If we don't really have to avoid them, we'll find out. Okay, yeah, so this does not... Oh! Interesting, so the red one shoots it back at you. And the blue one must shoot it the other way. Either way, though, doesn't look like Boo's got a whole lot of game here either. That's okay. We can make quick work of it. I'm gonna try hitting it in the blue mirror and see. So the blue mirror shoots it at me too? Or is that what? Hold on. I'll try shooting at the red mirror. Okie dokie. I don't think he's gonna try. Nope. That's the first time I think I've, I've seen one of the AI actually use any uh, zone speed, so that's kinda neat. He's gotta lob it over. Oh, Boo got a little... got a little spice on that shot. I like that racket though. It looks like it's got a, uh, a boof... Uh, the, just the teeth on it, the mouth. Maybe I can snag one of those rackets here if I can beat Boo. Uh, these mirrors aren't honestly aren't too bad so far. Uh, unless I'm misunderstanding how they work, it seems like both the mirrors shoot back at me. Maybe that'll change though. No? Got me that time. Dang it. It'd be crazy if the mirrors start moving a little bit quicker. 
it might be a little too random, but um, I think that'd be kind of cool. They're just kind of moving around, moving around slowly right now. It'd be it'd be sweet if they were moving a little bit quicker. So I've yet to have any of the AI actually hit any of my uh, special shots back yet, but hopefully that will change. That is a little tricky. That's a little tricky. I'll give it to him. Dang! I might lose a match to Boo here. Hopefully not. Game point. Alright, we should be able to tie it up here with the deuce on the zone special shot. Needs a little bit, but they're not following through with the zone speed uh, enough to actually hit these shots back. That should probably do it. Not quite. One more time, this should uh, do the trick, I'd imagine. Yep. I'll oh, just the advantage, right? We gotta score one more time, and we got Boo uh, in the bag. Set point. Come on. Oh! I was going for the special shot. Should have just slowed down time and, and went for it like that. That's right, looks like Boo's just about out of juice, though. Which means that will probably be pretty easy to do. Still very low on juice, so we'll uh, just hit him, hit him with another one of those. Hopefully they'll do the trick. As long as these mirrors don't get in the way, of course. There we go. Game and set. Oh, is it three sets? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, I guess that was only half of what we, what we needed to do then. That's right. Wasn't super difficult. We should be able to fly through the second game. It'd be cool if Mario could jump in these mirrors. That would be sweet. Easy. Well, quick work as I mentioned. Should finish him off here pretty quick. Alright, one more. Be nice if we could get out of here without even a single loss to boot. Not this time, Boo. What a way to go out with the special shot. Poor Boo doesn't even stand a chance. There we go. Finished him off. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the CPU players are uh, really gathering a whole lot of energy yet. Level 9? Nice. Seems like I'm getting the same amount of XP every single one of these times. I'm leveling up after each uh, match. And also I've been able to tell absolutely no difference every single time that I've leveled up so far. 
Alright, beat the first part of Mirage Mansion here. I saw some other docks kind of standing around it, so... Uh, I assume we'll have to play a couple more games. Yeah, it looks like it. We'll head over here first. Practice court. Probably just another quick one where we can unlock some things. Check out those panels lined up at the entrance. Those definitely weren't there before. I'm assuming you have to hit the ones with the stars in them. Knock down the panels within the time limit. Score a certain number of points. Right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, and this is probably one of those that uh, score 500 points within the time limit. Yeah, you, once you beat this, it probably unlocks for a local, local uh, co-op play, I'd assume. It seems like the stars give a little bit more points. One point for the non-stars, and oh, that one only gave one as well. They're kind of hidden, though. This doesn't seem to be too good. This is much easier than like the piranha thing, for example. Basically, all you have to do is hit it. They keep popping up. You don't even have to be accurate with any of your hits here. You hit something every time, it looks like. Hopefully, I can just win this without uh, doing anything crazy. Oh, 500! I thought it was 150 you needed. Dang. Let's see what happens if we use a power shot here. Can we hit like the whole area down at once, or is it still just going to hit it with only one? Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, so we do want to use those power shots. Because it can knock out a huge portion of the port, it looks like. So I'm just going to try to get my meter up as quick as possible here. And we'll just keep doing that. Especially if I can hit some areas where there's a whole bunch of those stars. We'll get points uh, super quick. That's decent. Look at that. Looks like I scored. They got one past me. Minus 10 seconds. Sorry, I think we'll be okay. So you're basically just playing against yourself in this mode. Just basic hitting it back and forth. I think you could probably just win with like zero strategy. I don't know if it's required to get these uh, couple like special shots off that I've been doing. I think it might be. There we go. Cleared it. Oh, no big deal. No, that was pretty easy. Level 10, what do you know? Looks like we got about 1% additional run speed. Very nice. I have a feeling that whole leveling mechanic is going to be kind of useless here. Looks like we did it. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, unlock that one. We'll head over here. Reflection room. Let's see what's going on. There's a couple booze I see hanging out in the forest. We made it through the entrance to a very dark room. Helpful. No telling what's in here. So it looks like these dots are each like inside the mansion on this part. So I'm assuming this will be like... The first thing we did there was level 2, or level 1, this is probably like level 2, and then level 3 is probably going to be the boss in the second power stone, I'm assuming. Solve the mirror puzzle and clear the path forward within the time limit. Alright, let's see what we got to do here. Probably hit the bubbles, I'm assuming? Well, I'm not totally sure. I saw the bar ball sparkling a little bit. Okay, so if you power shot them, looks like they all blow up. I gotcha. Oh, they hit myself with the old drop shot. I'm getting owned.
There we go. Could blow up the second one. I'm traditional Nintendo sense. Hopefully there's, uh, there's three levels here. Although that didn't pop all the bubbles like I thought it would. So it looks like we do have to pop them all. Which is kind of harder than it looks. Because the aim is not that great. Can't hit that one. So let's keep doing these shots. I think maybe you just gotta keep using the zone shots to uh, rock some of these guys out. Alright, looks like uh, second phase cleared. Third phase cleared. Yeah, that's definitely the trick there. If you just keep using those, uh, getting the star and use the zone shots. Um, ooh, one more level here with the clock. Oh, you got me there. Couldn't really see it that well, honestly. What? I'm not seeing what they want us to do. Alright, so we gotta smoke those, it looks like. Can we do it one more time? Yes. Both the cogs and the clock. And it's coming back again, it looks like. We'll do this. 90 seconds left. I think the timer must reset when we got unlock this clock. What? I missed. Kinda hard once it gets in the corner here. Come on. <laughs> Kidding me? Don't know the trick here. Got hit by the ball. Yeah, it's like I'm aiming at these gears, but just not doing anything. 30 seconds left. Guess we'll just do this. I don't know. I, I don't see what I'm missing. We'll hit that guy. What? Just comes back? Can we beat it when, with the last second here? Two seconds remaining. Do we get it? No, we didn't get it. Game over. You kidding me? <laughs> well, all right. We learned uh, you gotta do more zone shots, I guess. Jump back in here. See if we have to do all those again with all the bubbles or just the clock. Hopefully, just the clock. Fools! It was a mistake. Ah. All right, we'll jump back in. Take care of those guys. No big deal. We're going to have to do the whole thing again, though. Uh, so it looks like if you kind of know their pattern, you're okay. However, now I'm down to 20 seconds and only a couple stupid balls left, so we're might be uh, doing this one more time. We'll find out. Can I do it in 15 seconds? I don't know. I think I'm gonna run out of power. Actually, it looks like it refills it, so we might be okay. 10 seconds. Hopefully there's not one more level after this. Looks like there might be, but we're just gonna smoke that. Hey, maybe we got it done there. Six seconds. Second time's the charm there. I didn't figure out the strat till right near the end there. 
I didn't realize the first time around that the little clocks kept, or the gears kept moving when you slowed down time. Or when you stopped time, really. Alright, looks like our agility uh, leveled up a little bit there. Nice. Can't believe they got past the reflection room. Useless fools. Must be the mirror boss. Madame Mirage. Alright, looks like two more options left. Detour or Royal Chamber. Uh, we'll do Detour, just to finish off this little mansion section, I suppose. The entrance is so lit. Still lit. It's a boo! Don't be shy, blah blah blah. A racket made of mirrors. Nice, maybe we gotta use that to beat the boss. Ten consecutive shots. Play! Let's do it. Keep rallying until you reach 300 points. Intermediate difficulty. Oh boy. Well, I got owned that time. Alright, nothing too crazy here. Other than Boo having a little bit of gas in the old tank. See what happens if we actually can score on him. Looks like nothing at all happens. We just have to keep rallying. So it's actually a... not cool. Now I gotta clutch this out for a billion points. Gotta take it easy. Well, not hard. I just wasn't concentrating hard enough there. We'll give that another shot. Well, I'm even in worse shape than last time now. And lost again. It's not really a fair game mechanic that. I just have to keep rallying with him, but he can score on me. I do have to say, Blue's slices, man, they are roasters. Game over again. Three tries. Basic loss again, you kidding me? Three points I've got on Boo at least. Yeah, if you just keep smacking it away from from Boo, I think you're okay. Except for that. All right, I can't screw this up. There we go. Got it. It worried me there at the end. It let the bounce fall. I wasn't able to hit any more buttons. At least I was pressing buttons and they were doing nothing on the screen. Alright, well that silly level's out of the way now. They should have given you some extra points for actually scoring on the, on, uh, the boo. That makes sense that he could score on you, but you couldn't score on him. Very impressive. Here, have this mirror racket. Sweet. Alright, we can head to this uh, a seemingly final room now, the Royal Chamber. Here we go. 
Defeat the boss of Mirage Mansion, mansion within the time limit. I'll hail the Mirror Queen oh. in the Royal Chamber. Sounds good. Ooh, spooky. Alright, let's see what they got here for us. Well, we got that, I guess. So each time you do this, it looks like it takes her health down. I don't know if the trick shots take it down more or not. We'll find out. This is super easy with the trick shots. You can just do a total spam. Whoops. Alright, here we go. We got one of them. One heart down. Alright, what kind of special gimmick we got this time? I have to hop over stuff again? Everything's floating. Oh! Alright, admittedly was not prepared for that. Oh, come on. Nope, I guess that's it. Alright. how I feel about that. We'll see how much the power shot takes her health down. Looks like they're at about uh, two-thirds currently. Yeah, it takes about a third of the health down, so those are worth doing for sure. Not worth... well, that was that was stupid. But yeah, they're not worth saving uh, for those uh, kill shots, I don't think. There we go. Right through the middle. Oh, you gotta kill everything. Or get through. Looks like I got through. Alright. See if I can actually dodge this stuff this time. Jesus. It's so quick! Got one. Getting wrecked by this stuff. <laughs> Not impressive. Not impressive at all. That's right, though. I'm still feeling pretty good about uh, our chances here. The bosses seem to be easier than some of those mini games, honestly. Got a bunch of rackets now, so hitting those things early is not too bad of a deal. Although that racket's totally busted, apparently. Finish her off here. Blocked. What? Thought that was it. What do I have to do here? There we go. Right over the top? Come on. Got him. I think. Just about out of charge, so that's good news. Cleared. Sweet. Another power stone, I assume? Is there anything else you can get? Rackets and power stones, it seems like. All 13. Yeah, and so another whole thing. It filled my bar from the middle of 13 to the middle of 14, so I got a whole level from that. Still can't tell any difference uh, in any of the attributes that I've acquired uh, throughout this game so far. With Mario Treasure Chest, you got the second Power Stone. Sweet. Three more. So, uh, yeah, I can see why people are saying the game is pretty short if there's five Power Stones and I've been playing for less than two hours and I already have uh, two of them. I haven't been flying through, but I definitely have uh, 
not been going real slow either. So now we can now choose uh, Mirage Mansion. Looks like we've unlocked that for single player play as well. So now it looks like uh, we can head out. We've cleared this whole area. This must be kind of the next uh, level. I assume, assuming the, the level progressions actually mean anything, you know, the level, like level 14 that I am for Mario. Uh, if I wouldn't have done all those things in the mansion, I'm assuming that if I had hopped on this train, it either would have not let me at all, or maybe the enemies would be much more difficult and you it would kind of force you because you'd be losing at the higher uh, level bosses. Maybe it forces you to come back and play these guys first. I'm not really sure. Um, but nonetheless, I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. Looks like next time we've got Snowfall Mountain Station coming up. Um, feeling so far on the game, I, I, or on the adventure mode at least, it seems like it's really trying to teach you how to play uh, Mario Tennis, which is actually pretty cool, because I'd assume most people would jump right into the adventure mode first, and then move on to the online tournament, things of that nature, local uh, co-op play. Uh, I kind of did things in reverse, and I'm just getting to the adventure mode now. But uh, started off very easy. Uh, I'd say overall it's been pretty easy so far. There's been some weird spikes in difficulty though with some of those mini games. Uh, still that thing, that original thing with the piranha plants uh, was kind of weird with the fireballs. Um, and then the, um, that match where I had to just rally with Boo where he could score on me, but if I scored on him I was not rewarded whatsoever. It was kind of weird. I feel like the difficulties are kind of spiking way up on those. Uh, not in the sense that they're really hard, but they are much more challenging, I guess, and kind of just generally weird than, than some of the boss fights and some of the other things so far, so. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode when I jump in on Snowfall Mountain, and, and we'll take it from there.